heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal now before i talk about this i'm picking anthony joshua to win this fight all right so let's get that out the way with okay so we got that established within the what first 15 seconds all right but let me just talk about dominic brazil for a second okay first of all I see a article on boxingscene.com and i will leave it in the description box it's just photos and then he was getting asked questions um during one of his workouts being asked questions about anthony joshua so i'll leave this uh link in the description you go ahead and click on it read it and come to your own surmise about it but you know i hear a lot of and i brought this up even when i broke the fight down you know i said if guys like uh nagu aguilera and um guys like uh, amir mansour can cause brazil trouble back him up make him work that I think Anthony Joshua will be able to do the same thing and he could possibly punch a little harder than those guys, which I think he could. I say possibly because I'm not in the ring. <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm not getting hit by, by any of those guys. So, But just by the looks of it, even though Amir Mansour can crack himself, um, it's just from the looks of the eye test, look like Joshua was going to be the hardest puncher that Brazil has faced from the eye test, all right? But people, it's like they want to not give Brazil credit for the Mansoor, from the Mansoor uh, situation. And they say that, uh, you know, Amir Mansoor is winning the fight, which I agree. And they say that uh, he put Brazil down, which is a fact. He did put him down to hurt him. But people just leave it at that. And then they just say, up, oh, and then Amir Mansoor messed his mouth up and then he had to stop the fight. As if Amir Mansoor broke his own jaw. It was Brazil that cracked his jaw. It was Brazil that put Mansoor in a situation where I think Mansoor is debating if he's going to fight again. If he is going to fight again, if he's came out and said that, please leave that link in the description so I can read it because I didn't hear nothing about it. Or leave it in the comments section, rather. Um, so I think he's still up in, for debate about if he wants to continue his career. It was Dominic Brazil that got off the canvas, man, that made that situation happen. It wasn't like Mansoor said, here, hit my jaw so I can quit. He got hit on the jaw by Brazil. It, it took Brazil to have enough heart to get his big ass up off the canvas and fight back. And we can say that Mansoor was, you know, starting to swallow his blood. That's why it looked like his uh, his motor started to get low, man. He just wasn't, you know, you can tell he was starting to get winded a little bit, start to get tired. But this is a fight. Because if Mansoor would have broke Dominic Brazil's jaw, nobody would have cared. It would have been like, oh, you got your damn jaw broke. Yeah, you, you you know, if the roles were reversed, then Brazil was the one that put Mansoor down and Mansoor got off the canvas and broke his jaw. You, you get what I'm saying? So we have to give Brazil credit. If you don't want to give him no credit at all, you got to give him credit for that, man. He showed perseverance. Like, he was the one that put the hurt on Mansoor after getting off the canvas. Now, this doesn't mean he's going to win the fight, but to me, he's more battle-tested than Charles Martin. He's a lot more battle-tested. Um, so just wanted to clear that up, man, because I don't know, man, some of you, you know, I'm not saying all you guys leave comments on my videos never been in the ring, but some of you guys treat this shit like it's a video game or something, man. Like, of course you give a guy credit for that. Doesn't mean he's going to win, man. But to me, he's a lot more battle tested than Charles Martin. You know, so. But just reading some of these uh, quotes and comments from this, you know, Brazil is a uh, very very confident you know um he thinks that his size um and the experience that he does have you know he believes that he's going to win this fight so i'll leave the article in the description box man but i just wanted to clear that up a little bit you know uh again a mayor man sore wasn't no world champion or you know it's going to go down as one of the all-time greats but he's very even for an old guy man he's in damn good shape and he can't crack himself you know what i mean uh, especially for the smaller heavyweights, he's probably one of the harder punching smaller heavyweights out there, regardless of his age. So I'm still going Anthony Joshua, man, but uh still think people giving Brazil any credit. Like they just think he's a complete stiff. And maybe stylistically, maybe you think he is, but uh I don't know, man. You know, I'd say when guys get uh land on the canvas and they get up and win fights by busting the other guy up. You gotta give him some credit for that. Just my opinion, you know, some of you guys probably, you know, will never give a guy credit. So just getting it out there. I'm out.